Hello, welcome back to another awesome video of Maths with Niall. Today we'll be learning how to round numbers. Hi Niall. Today we will be doing rounding and we're going to start rounding to the nearest 10. Before we explain what that means, can you count up in 10s until you get to 100? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Very good. So behind you, I have a number line. Can you tell me the two numbers that you have on either end? 20 and 30. 20 and 30. Good. So we're going to look at numbers between 20 and 30 to explain how we round numbers. And I've got a way to remember. Okay. Um, it's not really like a rhyme or a poem. It's just um, it's something. Um, so oh, five and over is when you round that up mm -hmm. and four and under is when you round down. Okay, so rounding up and rounding down, that's quite interesting. Let's sh explain that with an example. Can you take the number 23 and can you put it in the correct position on the board? Looking at those numbers on the board, that 23, you've put it in the correct position. Is it closer to 20 or is it closer to 30, based on it's how it looks? It's closer to 20. What's the difference between the 20 and the 23? Um, three. Good. And what's the difference between the 23 and the 30? Uh, seven. Seven, so it's definitely closer to 20. So if I said to you, Niall, can you round 23 to the nearest 10? It means that you're finding the tens that 23 is between, 20 and 30, and you're saying which one 23 is closest to. So which one is 23 closest to? 20. So 23 rounded to the nearest 10 is 20. Okay, okay now can you remove the 23 and can you put the number 29 for me please? Okay. Very close to the 30. Very close to the 30. So based on just looking at it, if we had to round 29 to the nearest 10, what would the answer be? Definitely 30. Definitely 30. How far is it away from 30? What's the difference? One. And what's the difference between 29 and 20? Eight. Eight? No. What? Nine. 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 Definitely nine. Nine. So nine. So it's definitely closer to which number? Definitely closer to the 30. So 29 rounded to nearest 10 is 30. Okay, good. Let's do another one. Let's do 22. So can you take off the 29 and let's do 22? Okay. Now, what is 22 rounded to the nearest 10? Um, for 20. 20. What's the difference between 20 and 22? 2. And what's the difference between 22 and 30? 8. So it's a lot further away from 30. So 22 rounded to the nearest 10 is? 20. Good job. Can you take the 22 off? Can you put... 25 for me, Niall. 25 is a bit of a tricky one. It is very tricky. Because it's in the middle. Okay. So this is where it gets a bit interesting. What's the difference between 25 and 20? 5. And what's the difference between 25 and 30? 5. Okay, so it's exactly in the middle of those two numbers. So this is when we apply the rule that you were saying. And what did you say? Um, five and over is when you round up and four and under is when you round down. So the number after the two is the five. So it means that we round up. So what is 25 rounded to the nearest 10? 30. Very good. I would like you to round the number 47 to the nearest 10. 
I want you to set it up on the board explaining what the two tens are. We're rounding 47. So can you explain what you're doing? I'm putting up 40 and 50, the numbers that the numbers in the tens that it's um in the middle. Okay, so 47 is between 40 and 50. Mm -hmm. Good job. And then And then 47 would mm -hmm. go here. Yes. And it's closer to the 50 than the 40. And then the... Um, so 47 rounded to the nearest 10 is? 50. Now let's look at the rule that you were saying. What's the number after the 4? 7. 7. And you said if it's 5 or more, what do we do? We round up. We round up. So the answer is 50. Okay, okay. now let's do 99 rounded to the nearest 10, if you think you can handle it. I can. So what 10s? Well, it's between 100. 100, wow. And 99 and 90. And 90. I don't even know if you're going to fit... 99 next to that 100 with all those numbers. Maybe shift the 100 across a bit. Okay. Do you know how many lots of 10s make 100? 10. Very good. And how many lots of 10s make 90? 9. Okay. So where's the 99 going? There. Okay. Do you want to explain? So... The hundred is in the hundreds, and that's what's confusing about this. But it's closer to the hundred to the, than to the ninety, so you always round up to the higher number, which is one hundred when it's a nine when it, there's an i at the end of the number. Okay, interesting enough, Niall. A hundred is in the 10 times table. So it's also rounding to the nearest 10. How many lots of 10s give 100? 10. Exactly. So if you round into the nearest 10, 100 is a perfectly acceptable answer. Yes. Now are you ready to round to some hundreds? Yes. Okay, the first number we're looking at is 270. Can yes. you count up in hundreds for me? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. Okay, 1000. 100, 100. Very good, Niall. Okay, so we're going to round 270 to the nearest 100. So what are the options of the answers? Which two 200 numbers? 200 or, or 300. Brilliant. So can we put the 200 and 300 on the board? Okay, Niall. Would you like to explain? We have 270 and, and 200 and 300. How so did you know to put the 270 there? Because each jump is worth 100. Now. 100? 10. Can you count up and show us? Can you start from 200? 200, 200 and 10. Let me move this. So 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 240, 250, 260, 270. Continue. 280, 290, 300. Very good. So each step is 10, is with 10. Yes. Okay, so which, what is 270 rounded to the nearest 100? 300. Because it's closer to the 300. Yeah. So leave that question right there and just remove the 270 and can you round 240? What is 240 rounded to the nearest 100 and why? Five and over um, is when you round up and four and 
under is where you round down. Well, why would we look at the four? Do you know why? Because yeah. it's the number after the hundred position. If we round into the nearest hundred, so we which, check the number so after. This is closer to two hundred. So it's nothing to do with the two hundred because the two hundred would be anywhere mm -hmm. here. So you check out the next number. The number after the hundred, the position that you're rounding to. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Okay, Naya, now you have 250 behind you. Can you explain how you would round that number to the nearest so, hundred? It's the same. So if it's five and over, then you round up. And we have a five. So we will round up to 300. Very good. Okay, Naya, what time is it? Quiz time! The best time of the video. Okay, are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, I'm going to ask you some rounding questions. First question, 37 rounded to the nearest 10. 40. 29 rounded to the nearest 10. 30. 51 rounded to the nearest 10. 50. 65 rounded to the nearest 10. 70. Very good, Niall. 240 rounded to the nearest hundred. 200. Good. 380 rounded to the nearest hundred. 400. Very good. 654 rounded to the nearest hundred. 700. Very good, Niall. What is, listen to this question properly, <coughs> what is 321 rounded to the nearest 10? 320. Very good. What is 486 rounded to the nearest 10? Um... Four hundred and eighty-six rounded to the nearest ten. Four ninety. Four hundred and ninety. Good job. That's it. You've been brilliant. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, subscribe now. Bye. Don't forget to press that like button.